it's Jordan. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be filming a what's in my bag. Um, currently I am using my Speedy 30 in the Damier Abin print. Um, this is my work bag. So Monday through Friday I use this bag and then on the weekends I usually switch to something a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact and easier to grab and go. So let's get right into it. First I wanted to preface I didn't add anything to this bag that I don't normally keep in here. Everything that is currently in here is truly what I have been using and it's from this past week. So the first item is kind of cumbersome. It's my laptop charger. The reason why this is in my bag is this is for my work laptop and this was a long weekend so I brought it home with me because I knew I was going to be filming some videos and also um checking my email so i have this with me but normally this isn't always in my bag the next item um, let's go into the small pocket on the side on the back here the next item is my favorite chapstick that i have been raving about i raved about this in my december favorites video um, this is the palmer's cocoa cocoa butter formula swivel stick chapstick. Um, it kind of looks like a glue stick, but it's really, really, it's a great chapstick. I highly recommend it. I've been taking this everywhere with me lately, so this has been in my bag all week long. Next and last item in this back pocket is my car keys. So I always keep these in my bag. Luckily enough, my car is a keyless entry, that's the word. Um, so I just have to keep this in my bag and then when I walk up to my car, it opens up. I'm sure a lot of your cars are like that. But um, so those are always in there. Now jumping into the big hole, uh, kind of black hole compartment. Um, first thing I see is my Biosil supplements. This is another uh, product that I raved about in my December favorite. So this is a collagen um, generator. So basically this is really great for your hair, your nails, your skin. It's awesome for your joints and um, your bones as well. So uh, this I've been taking to help generate more collagen just because the older you get, the, the less collagen you produce. So um, I've been loving, loving these. So these have been with me every single day. You take two of them daily and I highly recommend. Um, I can link these down below if you are interested in them. I purchased them off of Amazon. So uh, the next item are these wipeout. These are disinfecting wipes. Uh, my boyfriend's mom uh, gave these to me, a pack to me and a pack to him. Uh, just because of coronavirus and everything that's been going around, she bought like a huge pack of these and so she gave each of us one of these and I really like the scent of these and I've been taking these everywhere with me. Uh, you know, grocery stores, just to wipe down the carts or just anywhere in public that you, maybe before you eat, if you eat out, just to wipe down the countertop. So these have been really handy as of lately. Uh, the next item is this jumbo pack of extra gum. This is my very favorite gum. I don't buy any other kind of gum. Uh, this is the extra polar ice flavor. Um, it's been my favorite since high school, so for a very long time. And I purchased this huge pack. I don't even know how many is in here, but it was only like $2 at Walmart, which is kind of close to the price of just the smaller pack. So this was a great deal. The next item is my sunglasses. I have not been using these lately uh, because it's winter here in Nebraska. So I do keep them in my bag just because I never take them out. But um, these are the key, the high key um, fade sunglasses. This is the small size. They make a larger size. And I would say that I have a standard size head, I guess. So um, I can't imagine what the larger size would look like. I think they would just look really weird because the small ones really do fit me uh, great. And I'll try them on for you in case, um, everyone has these, but in case any of you um, don't have them and are looking for a new pair of sunglasses. I would say these are pretty affordable for sunglasses. They're not the cheapest, but uh, they run, I think about $65. So compared to other designer brands, these are kind of a steal and they're super lightweight for those of you who don't own these. Um, I highly recommend them. They do come in different uh, lens colors and um, different frame colors as well. So there's that. The next item is uh, these Cottonelle flushable wipes. Uh, this actually goes with another item in my bag. I, I normally don't carry these in my bag 
and also these Tums. I normally don't carry Tums. I've actually never even had Tums before, but a coworker of mine um, gifted uh, me and my other coworkers. Um, he actually makes, he grows his own pepper. So like ghost pepper, serrano pepper, and I think poblano pepper and he dries them and then kind of crushes them into a powder. And so he gifted us a little container of that. And then as a joke, um, he put these with it because it's supposed to be really spicy, obviously. So don't know why I had to explain that. But so I just keep these in there in case um, an opportunity arises where I may need some Tums and some blushable wipes. Let's pray that that doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, those are in there. The next item is a little Victoria's Secret pouch. So I've had this for a very long time and I just keep a couple things in here. Um, this is more kind of for when I go to the gym or when I used to go to the gym a ton. I haven't really as much anymore with coronavirus, but um, I keep my AirPods in there. I really don't use these much at work. So this is pretty much for the gym. And then also, um, I thought this was a smart idea but I keep this little ring kind of container in here, a ring holder. And then that way, if I go to work and then the gym after, and if I'm ever wearing like a nicer ring that I don't want to just like throw in here and get ruined, I can just uh, store in here while I'm at the gym. And then um, I know exactly where it's at and I know it's safe. So I do keep that in there just in case. And then I actually forgot this was in here. So this is kind of nice to find this again, but this is a keychain I got at Brighton and I love this keychain. It's very heavy duty. Um, I just think it's really pretty. I took it off my keys just cause um, it kind of got heavy and I, I was using smaller bags and didn't really want this in there. So, but I should try to find something that I could hook this on to. So that's in there. And then I also keep a backup uh, set of headphones, which um, came with my iPhone. So just in case I ever need these, um, I have them in there. And then also I found a hair tie. So that's all that's in this little pouch. The next item is a, uh, a face mask for coronavirus. I keep a bunch of these in my car too, as I'm sure everyone else in, in the world is doing. So. Uh, yeah, just a mask there. And then the next item is uh, a container of aspirin. And I, this is very old. Um, I got this actually for free from my grocery store back when I lived in New Jersey. Um, they, they gave like deals and like free things some months. And so this was an item I got for free. And um, yeah, the expiration wore off. I know it's expired. So I just kind of like double it up, triple it up. No, I don't triple. I double it up, uh, to make it a little more effective, but yeah, I'll, I'll continue to use these until they're gone and then I'll repurchase. But I really try not to take a ton of aspirin unless it's like a really bad headache or whatnot. Um, I just try to not take as much as possible and just see if it'll go away or drink more water or whatever. Um, the next item is this pouch that, um, it looks very junky, but it's very old. I got this clear pouch, I think when I was like eight years old, it's, it's been around for a very long time. Um, it's the brand that I think you can get at like Target and Walmart. I did look at Walmart a couple days ago and they had this brand and they had a little pink clear one, which was really cute. Um, I just keep all of my loose ends in here that I know if I were to just throw in this bag that they would be gone. I would never find them ever again. Things are kind of hard to find in this bag as is, which I don't mind. I love the bag, but, um, so yeah, keep them in here. I also keep items in here that are liquid and that I don't want to spill and ruin the lining of my bag. So we'll, we'll go through this quickly. I don't want to take forever on it, but I keep a small Nivea hand cream. Um, a Ray-Ban, uh, this is just one of those like uh, sunglass wipes, the lens wipes. Uh, these are for my Ray-Ban sunglasses, RIP. I lost them when I was in Kansas City for my birthday one year. So they are gone, but the wipe is still here. I keep a little bottle of Purell with me at all times uh, with the wipes just in case. Um, I do keep three lip products in here. These are they're good. They're not, I mean, I don't think I'd go and repurchase them or anything, but these are more, I would say like toned down lip products, more of like a natural lip product. 
that I keep for work because this is my work bag. I don't wear a full face of makeup to work. I really just do a quick brow, eyeliner and mascara, and then maybe some like touch up spot coverage. And other than that, I, I'm pretty natural at work. So if I do have a meeting, I'll just throw on one of these just to make me look a little bit more put together. The first one is a Dior lip glow. So this I actually got back when I was in college at FIT in New York City. I went to school for cosmetics and fragrance marketing and also design. And um, a lady who worked at Dior um, for the, on their beauty line, she came in and spoke to one of our classes and she actually gave us each one of these, which was so awesome. This is such a nice gift. This, this is pretty expensive, I think, on its own. Um, so this is in the shade, it's the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade 001 Pink. And I would say this is a hybrid between a lip gloss and kind of a chapstick almost. It's not opaque at all and it looks, I'm, I think I mixed it with one of the others so it looks a little darker on the top, but it's really a light, a very light color and it comes off very um, kind of clear almost. So this I really like for work. The next item is the one, actually I shouldn't say the one and only Chanel cosmetic item. I have used their Le Volume mascara quite a bit and I love that mascara. It's pretty pricey. I think it's around $40 so I don't really use it that much anymore just because I go through mascara kind of a lot. But this is the only lip product from Chanel I've ever purchased and it's, it's pretty old, I must say. Um, it's the shade 54 Boy. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. I don't love it. It's kind of like a shimmery kind of rose color, I would say. It's pretty, but for the price, I'm like, I could find something at the drugstore, you know, that kind of looks the same, I would say. Maybe maybe isn't the same quality, but, so I do keep this because I do want to use it up. I don't want to waste it. And then the next item is my Fenty Beauty. This is the Fenty Glow um, Gloss Bomb. The shade is Fenty Glow. This was a gift um, from my nail girl, um, so sweet of her. Um, I never tried the Fenty Beauty line and this is really, really great. I know that they have different shades out now. Um, this I got kind of when the line first started, but it's this really pretty, it's kind of like just a shimmery, I don't even know what color, kind of like a, a nudie rose color, maybe a little more tan. It smells so good, it smells fruity. So it smells very good. And I love kind of like the thicker, like doe foot applicator. So um, this I love for work cause it's, it's kind of like a more natural lip gloss. So those are the only three lip products I use. I know I said I was gonna go quickly, so I'm sorry. But um, next two items, I keep two of these emergency packs in my bag, just in case I'm at work and I feel like a sore throat coming on and you know, I want to kick, kick the cold or whatever it is quickly and get over it. I keep one panty liner, another eye cleaner, uh, lens cleaner, and this is from Norwex. I keep eye drops in here for dry eyes. Um, I wear contact lenses. I'm blind as a bat. So I, um, yeah, I need those throughout the day. I keep a small um, dental floss. And two pens, one pen I don't even remember where I got this, Early Bird here in um, Omaha, it's a restaurant. This pen actually was a gift um, from my dad. I actually work for him and um, he gifted this to me one year around Christmas time. And it's this really, really pretty, it's like a peacock, like it, this is the fanciest pen I own. And I keep it in my bag, it's so pretty, it's sentimental to me. So I, I really love this pen and I always have it. I got this little sample of the Victor and Rolf flower bomb. I've never owned this, but I have had other samples of it. I got it, it was like a, I think a 250 point perk at Sephora. And this smells very good. It's extremely sweet and I would say kind of vanilla-y. If you aren't into sweet fragrances, then you wouldn't probably like this, but this is a great scent. I don't know if I would purchase it a full size just because I feel like a lot of women have it. And I kind of just like more unique scents that not everyone's really wearing. So, but I do like it for work in case I need a perfume. 
And then we're down to the, the bottom. Um, I recently picked up these tweezers. I hadn't owned tweezers in my bag ever. And I, I would be at work and you, you need a tweezer for something, uh, eyebrow hair, or I don't know. And so I realized I needed to get these this for my bag. Um, so I went to Marshall's and picked up this. It was it was very, very inexpensive. I think it was like $2. I, I wanted just something inexpensive since it would just be in my bag. Um, so I added this in and great, great item to have. I do recommend keeping tw uh, tweezers with you at all times. I have quite a bit of bobby pins, one hair tie, and two of these kind of mini claw clips. I don't use these, but they're in there. So that's the end of my my eight-year-old basics bag. <laughs> basic, because I was basic when I was eight. But um, yeah, this that's that. And I kind of like that it's clear because you can see everything in it and it's just, it's easier to find. The next item, um, so this is actually a Louis Vuitton dupe. This is not authentic. Um, uh, I would say, so to back up, I purchased an item off of Poshmark and the lady who sent me the item, she included this for free and it was so sweet of her. I would say this is a very, very high quality dupe. Um, I did look up the brand, it's called Daisy Rose. You can purchase this off Walmart. I mean, I think it looks, my bag is real, but I think if you want to compare it, I mean, that's so similar. They feel very, very, very similar. I mean, I think if you pulled this out, no one would really know. So if you were on the hunt for a budget item that it looks Louis, um, I highly recommend this, this brand. I do have the makeup case. That's the same line because I, I personally don't want to spend four or five hundred dollars on a real Louis makeup case that's going to get trashed with my makeup. I'm not the cleanest when it comes to my makeup. So um, I recommend that too. But these are the only Louis Vuitton dupes I have. And this is um, this on the inside does have the little keychain portion. So um, this is great. I highly recommend this. Um, and I, I can see if I can link it down below. Um, for you guys. So there's that. And then I have this little um, mirror that I got when I was in Hawaii. Um, it's kind of like a little souvenir. I went with my boyfriend and um, it was such a fun trip. So when I use this, um, I just kind of think about that trip and reminisce and wish I was in Ho Hawaii because right now it's freezing temps with snow outside. So there's that. Oops, I can drop something. Um, the next item is my perfume that I wear um, pretty much every day. I raved about this in my December favorites as well. This is the Jo Malone. It's the Wood Sage and Sea Salt perfume. It smells, it's to die for. It's, it's such a unique scent. It's not very girly. It's not masculine. I would just say it's so unique. Like the story, you'll have to watch my December favorites if you haven't already. But um, the story about this is my mom was wearing this at my sister's wedding and I didn't know, but I kept getting this scent. Um, and so I asked her and this was what she was wearing. And she actually sent me this and surprised me with it. And I love it. And I keep it in my bag. It's such a nice size, very durable glass. So you don't have to worry about, you know, it being fragile and breaking. So Really, really recommend this scent. You'll have to check it out. And uh, second to last item is a, it's a banknote. I made a deposit, so this was thrown in there. And the last item is my wallet. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin Purse in a Damier Eben print. And it has the rose ballerine interior on the inside. So um, I love this wallet. This is my only designer wallet at the moment and it's perfect. It holds so much stuff. I love the center um, portion that you can keep like your two, like I keep my two most used cards there, my ID and my, um, my credit card. And it's just, it holds so much and it fits in all of my smaller bags too. There's no foof about it. So you don't have to worry about hardware getting scratched or like some of the designs that have the V, um, sometimes they can get worn on the bottom. So it's just, I would say a very durable wallet. And the price point is around four something, I believe. And I think for that price point, this is a great wallet if you're looking for one that isn't like seven, eight, nine hundred dollars 
this is a great one that I think um, will be a timeless piece in anyone's collection. So I highly recommend this. It does come in the monogram print and also different interior colors. So I believe you can get the brown interior and you might be able to get red. I'm not entirely sure about that, so don't quote me. All right, so that is everything in my bag. It's completely empty. It is a huge black hole. This size is awesome for work. You can really fit so much stuff in here. Um, I have so much room even with all of that in here. So I would say that's very typical of what I bring every single day. Um, let me know, comment down below, uh, what bag are you using for work right now? And also, um, what items am I missing that I should be keeping in my bag for work? Um, and also thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and until next time, thank you so much. Bye.